Hello and welcome back to your Daily Dose of Joy channel. We're here to explore life's ups and downs together. This channel is a space for growth, learning, and of course, joy. We appreciate your support, and if you find the content helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now let's delve into today's topic, a universal experience that we've all faced at one point or another. Breakups. Fasten your seatbelts, folks, because we're about to embark on an emotional journey. Breakups can feel like a storm, full of turbulence, chaos, and unpredictability. You know, they have a way of turning your world upside down, shaking you to your core. It's like being caught in a tempest, where feelings of loss and confusion whirl around you, and the future seems as uncertain as the shifting winds. When a relationship ends, it's not just the loss of a partner you grapple with, it's the loss of shared dreams, joint plans and a shared identity that can make the process particularly painful. The familiarity, the routine, the comfort, it's all suddenly ripped away leaving you in uncharted waters, navigating an ocean of emotions. You might feel like a ship lost at sea, battered by waves of sorrow, anger and regret. One moment you're riding high on a wave of nostalgia, reminiscing about the good times, the next you're plunged into the depths of despair wondering if you'll ever be able to move on. The confusion can be overwhelming, questions swirl around like a hurricane with no easy answers in sight. Did I make a mistake? Could we have worked things out? Will I ever find love again? It's a relentless storm of self-doubt and second-guessing. But it's not all darkness and gloom. In the midst of the turmoil, you might find an unexpected resilience within yourself, a strength you didn't know you had. The storm might be raging, but you're still standing, still fighting, still surviving. And that's the thing about storms. They're intense, they're frightening, but they're also transient. They may leave a trail of destruction in their wake, but they also bring about change, growth, and renewal. They force you to confront your fears, to reassess your priorities, and to rediscover your individuality. In the midst of the storm, it can feel like the sun will never shine again. But remember, every storm passes eventually, and when it does you'll find yourself stronger and wiser for having weathered it. When caught in a storm, we need a compass to find our way out. The same goes for surviving a breakup. Navigating through the tempest of emotions can feel like wandering aimlessly through a downpour, but with the right tools and resources, we can find our path again. Think of your support network as your compass. Friends and family are there to provide comfort, support, and a listening ear when the storm seems unending. They are the ones who can remind us of our worth when we've forgotten, and they can offer a fresh perspective when we're lost in the heartache. Self-care is like the nourishment we need to keep going. It's easy to neglect our own needs during a breakup, but it's essential to remember that taking care of our physical, emotional, and mental health is crucial. Whether it's taking up a new hobby, hitting the gym, or simply allowing yourself a good cry, self-care is about doing what you need to heal. And then, there's therapy, the lighthouse in the storm. Therapy offers a safe space to express and explore your feelings without judgment. A professional can provide you with coping mechanisms and strategies to deal with the emotional turmoil. They can guide you through the healing process, helping you to understand and accept your feelings. But remember, everyone's compass is different. What works for one person may not work for another. It's about finding what helps you navigate through your storm. It could be a combination of these things or something entirely different. Maybe it's immersing yourself in work or art or perhaps it's spending time in nature or with animals. The key is to be patient with yourself. Healing takes time. It's a journey, not a destination. It's okay to feel lost, to take a wrong turn, to backtrack. It's okay to feel the rain, to hear the thunder, to see the lightning. It's all part of the storm and it's all part of the healing. Finding your compass isn't easy, but it's the first step towards clear skies because every storm, no matter how dark or long, eventually passes. And when it does, we come out stronger, wiser, and more resilient than before. Just when the storm seems endless, a breakthrough moment occurs, a silver lining begins to appear. Breakthroughs can be subtle, almost imperceptible, or they can be monumental, shaking the very foundations of our existence. They can creep up on us or they can hit us like a bolt from the blue, but however they arrive, they always change us, always leave us a little bit different, a little bit stronger. In the aftermath of a breakup, it's hard to see the forest for the trees, the pain is raw, the heartache all-consuming, the ground beneath you feels unstable, every breath is a struggle, but then, something shifts. It might be a word from a friend, a line from a book, a song on the radio, or even a memory that suddenly surfaces, and just like that, the fog begins to lift. 
you start to see things differently. The reality of the situation, previously obscured by grief and despair, starts to take shape. The breakup, as painful as it was, begins to make sense. It becomes a part of your story, a chapter in your life, not the end of it. This is the breakthrough moment, a moment of understanding, of acceptance. A moment when you realize that things happen for a reason, even if that reason is not immediately apparent. You understand that every end is a new beginning, that every loss is a gain of something else. In this breakthrough moment, you learn that you are not defined by your relationships, but rather by how you respond to them. You realize that you are more resilient than you ever thought possible. You understand that you are not a victim of your circumstances, but a survivor, a warrior. And just like that, the storm isn't so scary anymore. It's still there, still raging, but you're not lost in it. You're navigating through it with a newfound strength, a newfound resolve. The breakthrough moment is when we begin to see the storm for what it is, a natural, albeit painful, part of life. Every storm leaves behind a landscape changed, and so do breakups. They shape us, they teach us. Just like the land after a storm, we may be battered and bruised, but we are not the same. We are stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Let's take a moment to reflect on the lessons learned from this storm called a breakup. The first lesson is about resilience. We learn that we can weather the storm, no matter how fierce it may be. We discover a strength within us that we didn't know existed. That strength is our resilience, our ability to bounce back from adversity and keep moving forward. The second lesson is about self-care. During the storm, we learn to take care of ourselves, physically, emotionally, and mentally. We learn to prioritize our well-being, to listen to our needs, and to nurture ourselves. This self-care becomes a lifeline, a beacon of light guiding us through the darkness. The third lesson is about acceptance. Acceptance of the situation, of our feelings, and of ourselves. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation or defeat, it means acknowledging what is, so we can begin to heal and move forward. The fourth lesson is about growth. In the aftermath of the storm, we learn about ourselves. We learn about our strengths, our weaknesses, our values, and our desires. We grow, we evolve, we transform. This growth is the silver lining of the storm. The final lesson is about love, not just romantic love, but self-love. We learn to love ourselves with all our flaws and imperfections. We learn that we are enough just as we are and that we are deserving of love and happiness. Breakups like storms change us, but with every change we become stronger, braver and wiser. We learn to navigate through the storm, to weather the turmoil and to emerge on the other side, not just surviving but thriving. Because in the end the storm doesn't define us, it's what we learn from it and how we grow that truly matters. Surviving a breakup is a journey, one that takes us through storms and into the sunshine. We've walked through the tempest of emotions, the feelings of loss, the uncertainty that engulfs us when we're in the eye of the storm. We've navigated through it all, seeking support, engaging in self-care, and sometimes even therapy. We've celebrated that pivotal moment of breakthrough, that sweet taste of acceptance, understanding that it was all part of the process. We've learned lessons, some of them tough, some of them enlightening, but each one of them invaluable, shaping us, making us stronger, wiser, and more resilient. We've discovered that surviving a breakup isn't just about getting over someone. It's about growing, evolving, and finding the strength within ourselves to move forward. So what's your story? How did you survive your breakup? What storms did you weather and what sunshine did you find? Share your experiences in the comments below. Your story might just be the beacon of hope for someone else navigating through their storm. If you're looking for more, we've got a whole library of content on resilience and self-care. So go on, dive in. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. We're all in this together. Thank you for being part of your daily dose of joy today. Until next time, keep weathering the storms and basking in the sunshine.